In this video, we're gonna take a look at getting started with Revoice Pro 5 in Reaper. If you're looking for more in-depth feature-specific videos, be sure to check those out on our website. Let's get started. All right, so let's take a listen to the performance that we're working with here. Yes, I need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. So all in all, great performance. There are some pitch and timing adjustments that I'd like to make. So to get started, I'm going to click on the effects button here and just type in link to grab the Revoice Pro Link VST3 plugin. And I'm gonna do the same thing on my other vocal track. Now you'll see here it says Revoice Pro is not running. So all we have to do is press start and we'll see the application pop in. So I have the application open now it's time to send the tracks from my DAW to Revoice Pro 5. So what I can do is select the audio file in the timeline here, and then just press capture audio on the corresponding plugin. And then I'll go to my second track and do the same thing. Now let's open Revoice Pro and you can see the tracks are already loaded in. I'm just gonna extend this a little bit. And then I'm going to auto size my track heights just to take advantage of the screen real estate here. So we have our two tracks, and you can preview them within the application. All right, so now I'm going to solo out my female lead vocals and maximize it. And I'm going to right click and select adjust pitch timing and level to start making changes to the pitch. Amazing, so there's all my pitch traces on the vocal performance. Now there's quite a few ways you can approach tuning in Revoice Pro 5. One really quick way is just to press Option and W, and that's gonna take all of the notes and pitch them to 100% based on the sung performance to the chromatic scale here. So let's take a listen to the tune version. Guess I need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. That's sounding pretty good, but I wanna get into some of the manual functions of Revoice Pro 5, so I'm going to undo that. So I'm gonna zoom in onto a pitch trace here. I'm gonna hold Option Command and click and drag to the right and down to zoom in. And you'll see on the pitch trace, we have three different blocks here. We have the correction block, which is gonna let you blend in the correction on the note. So I can go from zero to 100 on that single note. We have the level change, which is going to allow me to raise the level of that specific word or syllable. And that's perfect if you have just a word you wanna bring up in your mix without touching the automation in your DAW. And then we have the drift, which is gonna change the angle of the pitch trace. So you can see it moving there. And this is great if your singer maybe has a flat onset here and then ends up sharp, you can kind of angle it out while keeping the natural quality of the voice. And then here you're able to flatten out the pitch trace if you wanna go for more synthetic tuning. Like or you can exaggerate the performance by just clicking and dragging up if you want to maybe you know exaggerate the vibrato that they sung. And then at any point, you can reset any changes you've made by right-clicking and hitting Reset Selected Notes. And you can choose from pitch, timing, and level, or all changes. So the approach I'm going to take with these vocals is I'm just going to select all of the notes, right-click, and bring up the Center Note tool. This is going to allow me to blend in the correction as opposed to 100%. So I'm gonna maybe go for let's say around 85, I'm gonna tune it pretty heavily, but still keep some of the natural qualities. So let's just zoom out and listen to the performance. Guess I need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you, you. All right, so I'm pretty happy with that. There is a section here that's a little bit flat, so I'm going to actually zoom in there and see if I can fix it. So it's right here on this, uh, body. It's a bit flat there, so I'm going to right click, go to the cutter tool, and I'm gonna select around here and split them. Then I can select them and double click, and it's gonna automatically tune it for me. Need somebody, body like you. All right, perfect, so for the sake of this demonstration, let's say I'm happy with the tuning I have on this female lead vocal, and I want to apply that same tuning and alignment to my male lead vocal. I can do that, simply by pressing B, which is gonna bring up this new process dialog box. And I can match the pitch timing and level. I have my audio selected, and I can choose from a preset. So for this performance, I'm going to choose tight timing and match all notes. You'll see I have the guide track set the female and the dub to male, and I'll create the new process. 
Perfect. So there it is down there. Let's just take a listen to before and after. So I'm going to mute the new process and I'm going to start from the beginning. Yes, I need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. Great. So let's listen to after. So I'll mute that original and unmute the processed one. Yes, I need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. You. Again. What a difference. I'm really happy with that. So the next step is getting it back into the DAW. So I'll open up Reaper here. And the great thing about using Reaper is that I can preview all of those changes with the tracks that are already there. So I have the instrumental track here. Let's listen to it with the instrumental. Nice. It sounds great. So I want to bring in that audio from Revoice Pro 5 into Reaper. Now, there's a few different ways I can do this. One way is selecting the vocal tracks, right clicking and going to render freeze tracks. And then I can render these tracks to mono stem tracks and mute the originals. And that's taking the processing from Revoice to Reaper. So now we can hear the processed ones. Nice. Perfect. So before we go, there's one last thing I wanted to do. And I was hearing a double here at the end of this phrase. Let's just find it here in, uh, in Revoice. Again. It was right here when they say again, and I want to double that female vocals. Again. So I'm going to highlight this section of just the portion that I want doubled. Again. And I'm going to press again. B to create a new process. So I'm going to select the doubler, and I'm going to select selected playback range, which is going to process only that range that I just set. I'm going to go to presets, and I'm going to go to stereo vocal loose timing, and that's going to create a really wide double for me. I'm going to create the new process, and you can see it down there. So let's listen to it just with the lead vocal here. Again. It's really nice and wide. So I'm going to select the audio. I'm going to bring that in to Reaper. So Option Shift, hold it. Nice. So let's listen to the final results. Yes, I need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. Now it's getting started with the Revoice Pro 5 in Reaper. If you're looking for more in-depth tutorials or feature-specific videos, be sure to check those out on our website. Thanks for watching.